Welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Swan PenCam Mini Video Camera and Recorder. Okay, let me first unbox this product. Now this looks like a pen, and actually it functions as a pen, but it's a camera. It records video and can take stills. And the product box looks also pretty neat. Pictures of the product on it and also all kinds of features and specifications about the product. Good if you're picking it up in store. If you're not, well, don't worry about it. Okay, let me just read some of the information here on the back. So this is a video camera and DVR housed in a real working quality ballpoint pen. How cool is that? When you have this, you kind of feel like a spy. Something like James Bond. Just be very careful what you shoot and share with other people because you could get yourself into a lot of trouble. So now that you're warned, I'll continue. Shoot color videos and upload them to YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, Photobucket, and more. The more, I guess they mean, like for example, Google Picasso, which is fantastic. I love Google Picasso, I use it myself. Create video history with time and date stamping. Easy backup records over one hour and use the USB memory stick to upload to PC. Long lasting battery lasts 90 minutes and recharges via the PC's USB port. Compatible with Windows XP, Windows Vista, also uh, Windows 7, uh, as well as Windows Media Player, Real Player, QuickTime Player, and other players. Uh, perfect for lawyers, salespeople, law enforcement, mystery shopping, covert surveillance, and internet fun. Again, be careful with this internet fun. Moving right along, let's look inside. Protective cover here on the top. The pen comes in two different parts. The top with the camera and the USB connection. And the bottom with the pen refill in it. It actually functions as a pen. Both parts are in a plastic bag. This is a USB cable, which you can use. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can just plug this directly into the computer's USB port, but you can use this cable if you want an extension. This is basically a USB extension. So this end would get connected into the USB port, and then this end would get connected into the computer's USB port. What else do we have in here? Ah, oh, look at this. Three pen refills. An installation disc. I guess we consider this a quick start guide. Shows you the status LEDs. And uh, we have the more detailed user's manual. Here we go. Here's the English one. It's the one that I need. So again, this is the USB extension cable. The pen cam would get connected into this, and then this end would get connected into the computer's USB port. Just makes it a lot easier if your USB port is out of reach. Well, you can use this extension cable. Now let's have a closer look at this product. The top part is essentially the camera. At the very top is a button, and this is used to turn the camera on or off to take a photograph or capture video. Here's the very small pinhole camera. The clip is used to secure it to a pocket. And this end gets connected into the computer's USB port. Now the bottom part of this pen cam works and functions as a regular pen. And remember, it comes with three refills. Now let me screw both parts together here and prove to you that this actually works as a real pen. It works. On the top part of this pen at the back is a blue orange status LED and also a reset button. Now they include this very helpful status LED sheet. It goes through the different actions and LED status for the video mode and for the picture mode. And by the way, if you want to enable the picture mode on this pen cam, 
you will have to do so by flicking this tiny little switch. Oh, and by the way, if you don't like gold, well, they have a silver option as well. Let's see how this pen cam performs. I'll test it in bright light and in low light. By the way, the video resolution is 640 by 480 at 15 frames per second, and the audio bit rate is 128 kbps mono, and the sampling rate is 8 kilohertz. But as you can see in here, it is pretty impressive, considering how small this unit is, especially the little teeny tiny pinhole camera. Now, the lighting here is pretty bright. So let me turn some of the lights off so you can get a better idea how it performs in low light. Only one light on right now. I also have a display on here. So let me turn this light completely off. You can still see me, right? Pretty impressive considering there is nothing else on in this world except one single display. And here are a few pictures I took. You have to take a picture of the floor. Very important. It's what you walk on. Helicopters. Oh, how I love to fly these things. And my kids also love to watch me fly them. A picture of me just kind of hanging out. Pictures above my TV, which I spend a lot of time looking at. Food, very important. More food. And a light switch. So you no longer have to train for many, many years and be in some kind of covert government agency to get one of these. You can buy them off of the shelf. And they are not that expensive, but it depends on the gigabyte version. This is the two gigabyte version, but there's also a four gigabyte version available and possibly higher gigabyte versions in the future, although I'm not quite sure on that. And remember that if you don't like gold, no problem, you can get a silver version. And by the way, the software that they do include comes with a date program. And what it does is set the date on the pen cam to the correct one. So be sure to do that uh, before you operate this pen cam. But overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.